another day go. I have dinner prepared and you are going to love it. Little Nona was so good today. She couldn't wait for her daddy to get home, but now she is asleep. <laughs> My day, it was amazing, phenomenal, unbelievable. I have never had a day quite as great as this. Really? Please tell me more. Today, I caught more fish than I ever caught in my life. Andrew and I had a hard time pulling in the net. Oh, that is wonderful. We need to celebrate with candles and wine. Yes, my dear, yes, a celebration is in order. But there is something else, dear. What is that, Simon? I'm leaving the profession. What? We are leaving the fishing industry. We are? Yes. Where is that coming from? You love fishing. I do. You have been doing it all your life. Yes. Your father was a fisherman. Andrew is a fisherman. Yes. I was a fisherman, but now I'm going to be a fisher of men. What? What are you talking about, Simon? Me and Andrew were out fishing all night. We had cast our nets to the side when this fellow called out to us, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I am waiting for the punchline here. <laughs> there is none. Simon, honey, where are all of the fish that you caught? We gave it all to other fishermen. You left the fish and now you decided to follow this fellow? But he's the one, honey. He's the one that we have all been waiting for. He's the one that is saying, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. He's the one who is healing the sick and getting rid of various diseases. My mother is gravely ill. We have a daughter to raise. Yes. And you left your business because some fellow told you to be a Fisher of men. Yes. <laughs> Simon, my darling. No one would say that. So that's why I invited him here. That's one of the reasons I brought him right here. Here. He is here. I want you to meet him. He is going to be part of our family. Say this is not happening. Please, please give him a chance. After meeting him, you'll be convinced. I don't know how we are going to eat or take care of mama if you do not have your business. Wait, wait, wait. Jesus, come here. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. <laughs> Peter, your wife is just as lovely and beautiful as you said she was. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Peter, who is Peter? My new name. He likes calling me Peter instead of Simon. Okay. I heard, I heard there is another lovely young lady here just as beautiful. You mean my daughter, Nona? No. Peter told me about your mother being sick. It is very sad. Mama's time is coming near. It is just one of the things we must accept in life. Yes. 
may, may, may I see her? Yes, she is in her room. You may go to her room. We've heard that there is no way through. We've heard the tide will never change. They haven't seen what you can do. There is power in your name. How do you feel? Welcome. Oh, would you like to eat something? I'm in the mood for food and a celebration. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Lead the way. and you not fix him anything to eat. Mama, you are up and energetic. This is a miracle. <laughs> miracle, miracle. You better fix this young man something to eat before I pop you. Are you okay? What happened in the boat? I heard about some things. But remember when he came here? That was what we were looking for. That evening we brought him here. He healed so many who were oppressed by demons and he cast out spirits with a word and healed so many who were sick. This was to fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah. He took our diseases and bore our illnesses. Yes, yes, I remember those things. How could anyone forget? Can you see the power he has? What he's done for our lives? These last few months have been amazing. It is as, as if we have to do nothing. Everything is coming our way. The crowds are huge. Jesus' teachings are hitting people right in their heart. His lessons are mind-boggling. I remember all of his teachings. Yes. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed 
Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. For so they prosecuted the prophets who were here before you. And when Jesus finished these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching. For he taught as one who had authority and not as their scribes. But what happened on the boat? I was so afraid for you. There was a storm. I am so glad I did not go. And when he the boat, we followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea so that the boat was swamped by the waves. But he was asleep. And we woke him. We woke him. Save us, Lord. Save us. We are perishing. And he said to us, Why? Why are you afraid, oh, you little faith? Then he rose. And he rebuked the winds and the seas. And we marveled at this. What kind of man is this that even the winds and the seas obey him? God, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy sake. For oh, if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. You must be careful. Many people do not like him for whatever reason. They do not like us either. They say he is working on the Sabbath. And the new fellow, Matthew, he was a tax collector. I know, honey, but Jesus also cast out demons. A man who was mute 
all his life had a demon cast out and he can now speak. People born blind were given sight. We witnessed him bring a girl back to life and we had no assignment. What is our assignment? Jesus has given us authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. Praise him. He also wants us to go out. When? Now. Now? What did he say? Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and proclaim as you go, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You receive without paying, give without pay. Mm -hmm. Acquire no gold or silver or copper for your belt. No bag for your journey or two tunics or sandals or a staff. For the laborer deserves his food. In whatever town or village you enter, mm -hmm. find out who is worthy in it mm -hmm. and stay there until you depart. Mm -hmm. As you enter the house, greet it. And if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. Yes. But mm -mm, if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And if anyone will not receive you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet when you leave that house or town. Truly I say, truly I say to you, it will be more bearable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. Mm. Yes. Yes. Peter, you're home. Yes, Welcome I Welcome back. We are about to leave again, Mama. You can't. You just got here. We have important work. I understand. Shall I keep little Nono as you go? Thank you, Mama, but we want to take her with us. I want her to witness as much of this as possible. I think that is a good idea, Mother Eden. Yes. Maybe Nona should stay home this trip. Yes. But, but why? I want our baby with us. Yes, but not this trip. Jesus told us that persecution will come. He has said that everywhere we go, there will be multitudes of people, but we're going to be like sheep in the midst of wolves. We may also find ourselves dragged before governors and kings for my sake. Oh my, this is not good. Brother will deliver brother over to death. And the father, his child, and children who rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all of my, by all, for my name's sake. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they prosecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all of the town of Israel before the son of man comes. Oh, this is very scary. Mm -mm. Have no fear of them for nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. Somebody might die. And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Maybe you should stay with me 
and little Nona. I understand if you want to stay home until I return. I stayed home the last time and I missed everything. You are my husband. Whatever happens to you, happens to me. Mama will keep the baby. I will follow you and you will follow Jesus. Yes, that is why I love you. That is my daughter. One day when this is all said and done, Men may talk about this time, but when they mention me, they're going to have to say this man had a wife, a strong woman, one who stood by his side to the end. They do not have to mention me in their stories. As long as you know that I am here, I would die for you if necessary, Peter. Yes. In his hand. You use him to lead your people over to the promised land. Lord, I'm willing to trust in you. So take my life, Lord, and use it too. Yes, if you can use it. It is so great to see you. I missed you. Oh, Mama, I missed you as well. This has been such a journey. Oh, tell me all about it. I am not sure where to begin, but I am sure you heard that they killed John the Baptist. Yes, poor fellow. They chopped off his head and buried him. Now, when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a desolate place by himself. When the crowds heard this, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Now, when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, Be not dismayed, fear not the darkness. Jesus is here, he walks beside us. Gracious is he. is a desolate place and the day is now over. Send the crowds away into the villages so they can buy food for themselves. They need not go away. You give them something to eat. We only have five loaves of bread and two fish. Bring them here to me. Everyone, please sit down. Father, bless this food. Everyone is fed. We even have 12 full baskets of broken pieces left over. And those who ate, were about 5,000 men, besides the women and children. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, 
he was there alone. And by this time, the boat was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It's a ghost. Do not, do not be afraid. It is me, Lord. If it is you, command me to come to you well, on the water. Well, come. Be careful out there. I'm walking on water. Wait. I'm walking on water. What am I doing walking on water? I can't even swim. Oh I'm my God. Lord. Lord, help me. Save me, Lord. Oh, you. Of little faith. Why did you doubt? Truly, you are the Son of God. Still my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every change, he faithfully... Peter! It seems like they're getting desperate to get Jesus. Oh. They're reaching for straws. They're even trying to condemn all of you for not washing your hands before you eat. I know. They are processed and demanded. Why do you refuse to follow the traditions that our great leaders have passed on? But Mama, Jesus knew what to say to them. He said. And why? Why do you refuse to obey God's commands so that you can follow these traditions you have? You must respect your father and mother. Whoever says anything bad about their father or mother must be killed. You are not teaching people to respect God. <laughs> You think it is more important to respect traditions and customs. You are hypocrites. But what did Jesus mean when he said to you, be careful, guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees? I think he said that because we forgot to bring bread. Thank you. Peter, um, may I say something? Yes, Lord. Of course, Lord. Why? Why are you talking about not having bread? Your faith is small. Do you still not understand? Remember the five loaves of bread that fed the 5,000 people and many baskets you filled with the bread that was left. Mm -hmm. And remember the seven loaves of bread that fed the 4,000 people 
in the many baskets you filled that time? So how could you think that I am concerned about bread? I am telling you to be careful and guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. You were telling us to guard against the teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Correct. Yes, yes. And, and who do you people, and who do you people say I am? Some say you are John the Baptizer. Others say you are Elijah. And some say you are Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Who do you think I am? You are the Messiah, the son of the living God. <laughs> you are blessed, Simon, son of Jonah. No one taught you that. My father in heaven showed you who I am. So I tell you, you are Peter. And I will build my church on this rock. The power of death will not be able to defeat my church. I will give you the keys to God's kingdom. When you speak judgment here on earth, that judgment will be God's judgment. Yes. When you promise forgiveness here on earth, hmm, that forgiveness will be God's forgiveness. But you must not tell anyone. Oh, my lips are sealed. I want to warn you that I'm going to go through some terrible, horrific things. It's going to come from our leaders. I'm going to suffer greatly, and they will kill me. Kill you? Oh, my God. But I will oh. rise again. But I will rise again. Jesus. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Alone, please. What, what, what's going on? How can you say that? I'm not worried about Sadducees or Sadducees. I'm not worried about anything. They are not going to do anything to you. The first one comes against you. I will take them out. So none of that is going to happen to you. You have my word on that. Get away from me, Satan. You are not helping me. You don't care about the same things God does. You care about things that people think are important. If any of you want to be my followers, you must stop thinking about yourself and what you want. You must be willing to carry the cross that is given to you for following me. Any of you who try to save the life you, you have will lose it. But you who give up, your life for me will find true life. It is worthy. It is worth nothing for you to have the whole world. If you yourself are lost, you could never pay enough to buy back your life. The son of man will come again with his father's glory and with his angels. And he will reward everyone for what they have done. Believe me when I say that there are some people standing here who will see the Son of Man coming with his kingdom before they die. I understand now, Jesus. I hear you. Now, I want to talk about this. I didn't want to, but the tax collectors came down from the temple and said, we owe taxes. Peter. Who are those who pay the taxes? Are they the king's children? Or uh, do other people pay the taxes? What do you think? The other people pay the taxes. Mm -hmm. Then the children 
of the king don't have to pay taxes. But we don't want to upset these tax collectors. So do this. Go to the lake and fish. Mm -hmm. Open its mouth. Mm -hmm. Inside its mouth, you will find a four drachma coin. Take that coin and give it to the tax collectors. That will pay the tax for you and for me. Mm -hmm. The storms don't cease. And if the winds keep on blowing, evening, Jesus was at the table with the 12 followers. They were all eating. Then out of nowhere, Jesus said to them, Believe me when I say that one of you 12 here will hand me over to the enemies. The followers were very sad to hear this. Each one said, Lord, Surely I am not the one. One who has dipped his bread in the same bowl with me will be the one who hand me over. The son of man will suffer what the scriptures say will happen to him. But it will be very bad for the one who hands over the son of man to be killed. It would be better for him if he had never been born. Then Judas, the very one who would hand him over, said to Jesus, Teacher, surely I am not the one you are talking about, am I? Yes, yes, it is you. While they were eating, Jesus took some bread. Thank you, Father. He broke off some pieces gave them to his followers and said, Take this bread and eat it. It is my body. Then he took a cup of wine. Thank you, Father. He gave it to them. Take this, each one of you, drink some of it. This wine is my blood, which will be poured out to forgive the sins of many and begin the new agreements from God to his people. I want you to know, I will not drink this wine again until, they, until that day. When we are together in my father's kingdom and the wine is new, then I will drink it again with you. Still that hope that lies within is reassured as I keep my eyes upon the distant shore. I know. Savory to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storm don't cease, and if the night you will all lose your faith in me. The scriptures say, I will kill the shepherd and the sheep will run away. But after I am killed, I will rise from the death, from death. Then I will go into Galilee. 
I will be there before you go there. All of the others may lose their faith in you, but my faith will never be shaken. The truth is, tonight, you will say you don't know me. You will deny me three times before the rooster grows. I will never say I don't know you. I will even die with you. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? What's wrong, my child? Mama, they arrested Jesus. Oh, oh no! Where's Peter? He is with Jesus. He told me to come home as quickly as possible. What happened? The men came and grabbed Jesus and arrested him. When that happened, Peter grabbed his sword and pulled it out. He swung it at the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Oh no, is Peter okay? Was he arrested? Jesus, Jesus picked up the man's ear from the ground and placed it back on. It healed as if nothing happened to it. Put your swords back in its place. People who use swords will be killed with swords. Surely you know I could ask my father and he would give me more than 12 armies and angels. But it must happen this way to show the truth of what the scripture said. Then he turned to his accusers and said, why? Why do you come to get me with swords and clubs as if I were a criminal? Every day I sat in that temple area teaching. You did not arrest me there. But all these things have happened to show the full meaning of what the prophet wrote. Then all of Jesus' followers left him and ran away. Peter too? All. But Peter went back. He sent me home. I am so worried about him. How long has he been gone? Hours. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> He's dead. What? <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> they crucified my Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> I failed to know them. denied him. After I denied him the third time, he was so disappointed in me. I feel so bad. I can hardly live with myself. 
he said, you did all <laughs> you could do. He loved you. And you know that you loved him. Yes. I love him. I love him. I yes. Love him. <laughs> <laughs> going on? Mary and Mary just stopped by. <laughs> and what happened? He rose. <laughs> what? He rose from the dead. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. How did that happen? Everything he said has turned out true. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> we are to go meet him on that mountain in Galilee. <laughs> this wonderful news. Let us go. I I'll get the baby. Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 Some of you still don't believe, but I say to you, all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me. Yes. So go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teach them to obey everything that I have told you to do. You can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue with you until the end of time. Beautiful. And to think, I believe that it was the end when they crucified him. Oh. I believed it was the end when they buried him. But I knew it was a beginning when he rose. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Praise. Okay. Let's go, Destiny. Thank you so much for joining another Incarn Live presentation. And now we would like to bring our wonderful actors on screen. Carol Carolyn Pleasant. Michelle Knox, who played as Peter's wife, Hope. We are proud to have been named. Bob Bedon.
And finally, Claire Felden as Peter.